You came. People tell me things in here. Things that I want to tell you. Give me a name. I will. If you promise to come back. I know. Oscar Papa is the one who put the hit out on me. We can't get him. He's powerful. He has an army. Cut me. That looks like it hurt. Later, Jimmy Fallon welcomes Finn Wolfhard, NBC Tonight. On our broadcast tonight, rumors put to bed. We'll hear the Rhinelander mayor respond to residency questions. Plus, keeping roads safe without polluting. We'll learn about a balancing act to clear roads and keep lakes clean. And we'll have more on an undefeated start for Crandon Cardinals basketball. As your local news starts right now. News Watch 12 with Dan Hagen, Jessica Jukic, and Conrad Sapinski. Good evening and welcome to News Watch 12 at 10. I'm Jessica Jukic. And I'm Dan Hagen. It was brought to News Watch 12's attention about a week ago that there was a possibility of Rhinelander Mayor Chris Hannes living in the town of Crescent and not in the city which he represents. It would be a significant if he does not reside in Rhinelander because city ordinance requires residency. However, he says his property in Crescent is not even occupiable at the time. News Watch 12's Kyle Pazorski has more. I'm building a house in Crescent. I mean, it's not a finished house and I don't have occupancy through inspections yet either. When searching on Oneida County's GIS mapping tool, records indicate a property owned in Hannes' name in the town of Crescent. He says he's got nothing to hide in terms of his ability to be mayor. It's what I built out when I applied to be mayor. It's where I live and it's where I park my pretty obvious big red truck with a plow on it every night. Part of the confusion could be because the city's website previously listed his residence as City Hall. Hannes is the owner of KSH Property Service and owns multiple properties through that business, with his primary residence being owned by the company. I got a property I own up in Mercer and Iron County. I got about 10 I live by own in the city of Rhinelander. So if their logic is find a property I own and say I live there, well, they have a lot to pick from. Reporting in Rhinelander, Kyle Pazorski, Newswatch 12. <laughs> Well, Conrad, we've been living in this kind of in-between stage mm -hmm. of freezing, not freezing. Yeah, remember last week you were saying your perfect temperatures is pretty much in the 20s. That's pretty much what we've been having besides the last couple of days in the 30s. And how are the roadways tonight? I know they were pretty rough last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was very bad, especially by the morning hours. Lots of accidents left and right. Right now, though, everything's starting to freeze up, so they are starting to get a little bit more treacherous out there. Slow down if you got anywhere to go. At least it's not snowing anymore as that low pressure system continues to move out of the region. We continue to clear out. So not much going on uh, there. Visibilities, though, are a bit low right now. We do have visibilities close to two miles in some spots here in town, though. Around nine miles for visibility. That's not too bad, as 10 miles is pretty much what we always usually have on average. Highs today, we're hovering in those mid-30s. A couple of near-freezing uh, temperatures by Anago. Same thing closer to Merrill. Medford coming in with 32 degrees earlier today. So a lot of the precipitation that was falling, it was sticking, it was freezing up and it was slippery out there temperatures though all across america are pretty much above average as a lot of the colder air is a lot north and pretty much all the way up in canada uh temperatures tonight will continue to cool off and they're going to be hovering uh well above average in those mid to upper 20s jessica thank you conrad it was a frustrating day for airline travelers as a technology issue grounded flights nationwide. Here in Rhinelander this morning, airport personnel noticed their communication system wasn't working. The airport already had a tough task of clearing their runways of freezing rain overnight. While they were working on that, this morning they learned that the FAA's NOTAM communication system was down, which is essential for safe air travel. A nationwide outage caused more than 7,000 flight delays but not for the Rhinelander Airport. Operations manager Ken Orton and his team had to make sure that the other airports knew they were ready for incoming flights. We had problems with the NOTA manager. Uh, we knew we started having a problem last night and the whole system went down. We just used everything in our arsenal to try to keep the runways open. 
after preparing the runway conditions report, they would normally share the details with air missions using their system. Instead, operations specialist Chris Payne called up the Minneapolis airport directly to say all systems were a go. Even if we would have gave them our information, they would have not been able to read it. So by communicating with Minneapolis, which is pretty much our hub area, they control what comes and goes here. They relayed that to our pilots, so they put the word out. Thanks to the operation, one Delta flight that was able to land despite, despite the closure elsewhere. Orton called a success a group effort. Airport Director Matthew Leitner had nothing but good things to say for the crew that spends holidays making sure that flights stay on schedule. The system is back up and slowly running now, but the FAA is troubleshooting the issues further. Several people were arrested following a school fight in Oshkosh today. It started earlier in the day when there were a fight between two students. But then by 2 p.m., family members and acquaintances from one of those students forced their way into the school. This led to another fight with school staff and officers involved. Police say several adults and one juvenile were taken into custody. No weapons were involved. The school went into a hold for school safety during the incident. The Central Wisconsin Narcotics Task Force and the Marathon County Sheriff's Office recently made a drug bust, with its street value being around $40,000. On January 6th, authorities stopped a vehicle on I-39 in southern Marathon County. The driver, Jacob Gold, ignored signals to stop, and a pursuit started by vehicle and then on foot, before he was taken into custody. As a result of the traffic stop, law enforcement seized around 100 grams of fentanyl and one gram of meth. Following the arrest, investigators executed a search warrant at Gold's residence in Weston. There they found more meth and fentanyl, plus cocaine and one firearm. Gold has been booked into the Marathon County Jail. A Democratic member of the Wisconsin Elections Commission called for a Republican member to resign for bragging about GOP efforts to suppress votes in Milwaukee. Republican Commissioner Robert Spindle's comments were sent in an email to Republicans in the 4th Congressional District. In that email, Spindle says that Republicans, quote, can be especially proud of the city of Milwaukee casting 37,000 less votes than cast in the 2018 election, with major reduction happening in the overwhelming black and Hispanic areas, end quote. Spindle said the effort was due to a well-thought-out, multifaceted plan. He also served as one of those 10 fake Republican electors in Wisconsin who attempted to cast electoral votes for then-President Donald Trump following the 2020 election. Spindle is now saying he won't resign as a commissioner. The Wisconsin Department of Health Services is helping a local senior center. DHS awarded the Adult Day Center of Portage County more than $27,000. The funding is part of a $17.3 million that's being awarded to 69 organizations statewide. They will use the money to create a virtual tour of the center, which will promote the respite services. The money is from the American Rescue Plan Act. If you didn't have to drive your last night, consider yourself lucky. Freezing rain made for extremely icy conditions. Definitely. With this brings the regular debate. How much salt should we put on our roads? Newswatch tells Nick Fanzel explains the balancing act that local highway departments face after every winter storm. It's a balancing act for Alex Hageman, the commissioner of the Oneida County Highway Department. All of our trucks have um, basically computers in the cab that the guys can, all the drivers can set the rates for the salt. So we look at uh, pounds per lane mile is how it's all programmed. Another strategy for reducing salt usage is using brine or sand in the right conditions. If you can use salt, you can use uh, liquid brine. Um, we try to anything 15 degrees or lower, colder, um, we typically switch over to sand. Allison Madison, Sustainability and Development Coordinator from Wisconsin SaltWise, shares why the switch is made when the super cold conditions arrive. Temperatures below 15, sodium chloride is really not effective at melting. So that's when you want to switch and use like magnesium chloride or calcium chloride or other um, de-icers. While Hegeman did not mention magnesium chloride or calcium chloride, he did say brine not only reduces excess salt, but it's cheaper. Between 90 and $100 a ton on salt, you're seeing 50% cost savings that way. 
With the state and county saving money on raw material costs, Northwoods residents can also save money while reducing their salt use. A 12 ounce mug of salt is enough for about 10 sidewalk squares or 20 feet of, of driveway. Reporting in Rhinelander, Nick Manzio, Newswatch 12. More classified documents were found by Joe Biden's aides. And there's relief for people struggling with long COVID symptoms. We'll have the details after weather right here on Newswatch 12. Wasserhearn's Furniture has all kinds of recliners, power or manual recliners, rocker or wall saver recliners. Bring a truck, all in stock now. Check out Harns Furniture's huge selection of recliners. Half mile from Fleet Farm, Wausau. At Lens Truck, we've made the buying experience fast and easy. All our trucks are guaranteed clean certified, can be bought hassle-free online, and can be delivered right to your door. It's our way of saying thanks to our past and future customers for the last 35 years. And when you buy a Lens Truck, know that you're buying the best used truck money can buy. Go now to LensTruck.com. You'll find over 800 used trucks, all priced to move. Go now to LensTruck.com. Lens Truck. For the most up-to-the-minute info on your school closings, visit WJFW.com on your computer, your tablet, or your phone. WJFW School Closings, sponsored by Builder Service Incorporated, Menke Buick GMC Mazda, and People State Bank. Get your Newswatch 12 trail report every week on Newswatch 12 at 10, Thursday and Friday nights. And Newswatch 12 today, Friday mornings. The Newswatch 12 trail report is brought to you by these northern Wisconsin and UP ski dealers. It's easy to say things. Anyone can do that. Look closer. Meaning what you say, that's a little harder. And a little harder to find. But at U.S. Cellular, when we say you get unlimited data for $29.99 per line, we don't mean only if you get four lines. We mean $29.99 per line, even one. Plus, every plan is price protected for every customer. Wasserhearn's Furniture has all kinds of recliners. Power or manual recliners. Rocker or wall saver recliners. Bring a truck. All in stock now. Check out Harns Furniture's huge selection of recliners. Half mile from Fleet Farm, Wausau. And welcome back, everyone. Early this morning, we did have some very slippery conditions outside. We had some freezing rain, a little bit of snow in the region, less than half an inch of snow here in town, close to an inch by Wausau. Overall, though, we're starting to clear out right now. Most of that precipitation is gone. Still some lingering flurries here in the Northwoods. But in general, this low pressure system has moved on even across Michigan right now, producing a good amount of rain down south and, of course, some snow up in Canada. We're going to have some lingering flurries, especially tomorrow during the day. And then by Friday into Saturday, we're going to be in the clear. And then deja vu by Sunday. Once again, more increase in clouds because on Monday into Tuesday, we're going to have another low pressure system. Moving in, this one's going to be a little bit more south, producing some rain and snow for us on Monday, transitioning to snow on Tuesday, and then lingering into Wednesday as temperatures slowly start to cool off. But once again, this is going to be another messy system outside. The next couple of days, though, we're going to have maybe a trace to half an inch of snow across the area. Of course, a lot more snow with that lake effect snow machine on, but it's not going to be producing much. Maybe an inch to two inches in most spots as temperatures are going to be uh, hovering close to that freezing mark. We're hovering at around eight to nine inches of snow right now in the Northwoods. Look at Wausau, though, coming in just shy of six inches and north and west of that, a lot more snow. Look at Duluth. Coming in with close to two feet of snow. Wow, that is incredible stuff up there. Close to three times as much snow as what we have here in the Northwoods. Let's talk a little bit about temperatures now. Remember just a couple of weeks ago how cold it was? We had one of the coldest uh, co uh, coldest uh, snaps in a very, very long time. Right now, though, uh, we are in a ridge. That means more of those warmer temperatures are starting to move up. And we're in on some warmer air all across the United States, actually. We had temperatures earlier in the mid-30s. A little bit of unfreezing started to happen. 
Now everything that was melting is starting to refreeze once again as temperatures are hovering close to the freezing mark here in town. Look at Eagle River. They're starting to cool down right now. Same thing in Arbor Vita as temperatures are dipping slightly below freezing now. And of course, overnight, they're going to continue to cool off. Our temperature trend, though, does get pretty warm. Our average should be around 23 degrees this time of year. So Friday is going to be the only day we're going to be near average. And then Saturday, a little bit warmer than that. Look what happens by Sunday into beginning of the week. Once again, another wintry mess moves in. Temperatures will be hovering in those mid-30s and then slowly starting to cool off once again by middle of next week. Tonight, though, temperatures will be mild in those mid to upper 20s. Cloudy skies and a light breeze outside and not much going on with the wind. Tomorrow, though, temperatures will be hovering close to that freezing mark once again, around 30 degrees. Mostly cloudy skies will be in the area and also a couple of flurries will be possible in general, though, and not much accumulations uh, overall. Friday into Saturday does show some sunshine as their seven-day outlook brought to you by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress does show that next low pressure system moving in Sunday night into Monday, warmer temperatures once again, mid-30s outside. And then Tuesday, we'll have some lingering snow showers. Same thing into Wednesday before we finally start to cool off slightly. But still, we'll have above average temperatures in the upper 20s to lower 30s. Jessica? Thank you, Conrad. Aides to President Joe Biden discovered at least one additional batch of classified documents. They were found in a location separate from the Washington, D.C. office he used after leaving the Obama administration. The classification level, number, and precise location of the additional documents was not immediately clear. It was also not clear when the additional documents were discovered. The president said he is fully cooperating with the Justice Department's review of the matter. Federal law prohibits knowingly removing classified material and retaining it in an off unauthorized location. With penalties of up to five years in prison per offense. Drug overdose deaths continue to trend down, dropping slightly for the fifth straight month. That's according to data published today by the CDC. It shows more than 107,000 people died of a drug overdose in the 12-month period ending last August. That's nearly 3,000 fewer deaths than the record number recorded in the 12-month period ending last March. But it's still high. It's more than 50% higher than it was three years before that. Synthetic opioids such as fentanyl continue to be involved in more than two-thirds of overdose deaths. There's some encouraging news for people coping with long-term COVID symptoms. A large study conducted in Israel found most people who contracted a mild case of COVID saw their long-term symptoms resolve within the first year. Some of the common symptoms included brain fog, loss of smell and taste, breathing problems, dizziness and weakness, heart palpitations and strep throat. But some doctors say they're still seeing long-term COVID symptoms in their patients. A COVID specialist in Philadelphia who was not involved in the Israeli study says the results have not been the same in his clinic. He says he continues continues to see many people with severe long COVID symptoms lasting longer than one year. A star player from a local boys basketball team announced his commitment to play college basketball. Coming up on Newswatch 12, Sal Meyer will break that down, plus a look at Crandon girls basketball undefeated run. we can, Lindsay, with AAA Auto Insurance. Wait, AAA has auto insurance? We do home insurance, too. Switch and save on AAA Auto Insurance and expect something more. As a nurse, your capacity to give is superhuman until it's not. These days, nearly every nurse is exhausted. You deserve an employer who shares your passion for keeping people healthy, including you. Join Peter Christensen Health Center today. Work fewer hours. Enjoy regular schedules. Rebalance your life with your passion. Your loved ones will thank you. Your new health care team will appreciate you. And your new patients will be grateful for you. Quit the chaos. Be your best self. Join us today. To everyone who loves great food, 
Let us make you a meal the Wisconsin way. We cook each Butter Burger to order for you and the people you love, so it's the best part of your day. The best. The best. And every creamy scoop of fresh frozen custard, pure happiness. Pure happiness. Pure happiness. Because where Culver's comes from, in the heart of America's Dairyland. Our love. Our love for fresh food is as strong as our love for all of you. <laughs> from Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. Hi, I'm Kristen from Sleep Central on Highway 51 South in Manaqua, your bedding and futon headquarters. We carry the largest selection of name brand mattresses in northern Wisconsin, in stock and ready for immediate delivery. Beautyrest, Sealy, Serta, Stearns & Foster, and Tempur-Pedic. We also have a huge selection of accessories to complement your bedding purchase. Sleep Central also carries a wide variety of futons and unique bedroom furniture with quality all-wood construction. Better sleep, pain-free, that's our promise at Sleep Central in Manaqua, your one-stop sleep shop. trust him with a car. Of course we can, Lindsay. With AAA Auto Insurance. Wait, AAA has auto insurance? We do home insurance, too. Switch and save on AAA Auto Insurance and expect something more. Coming up, we're going to be joined by the Lakeland Area Mountain Biking Organization. And things started to calm down a little bit as we head towards your Thursday. Just a slight chance for some lake effect snow showers, but Friday we calm down, but a warm-up on the way. More to tune in on your Thursday from 5 to 7 a.m. With the first half of high school basketball season underway, one team has established their presence as a powerhouse, the Crandon girls basketball team. A perfect 12-0 record to start the season. The Cardinals look like they can't be touched. It was defense day at Crandon High School where they were preparing for their matchup with Medford on Monday. We all just kind of knew that this team was something special, and so we all just wanted to um, come to practice, work really hard, and it's obviously paying off because the season's going really well for us. Right now, the Cardinals are undefeated and have outscored their opponents 671 to 360, almost doubling the score of their opposition in every game they've played. According to head coach Jeff Mayer, this is due to their strong defensive play. Uh, we're definitely a defensive team. We take pride in that. We uh, say our defense travels. We're not always going to shoot the ball well at home or on the road, but we can always play defense. So we take pride in that. We work hard in that every day. With a defense and a record like that, everyone wants a shot at the crown. And the cards have a target on their back, but they welcome that challenge. I think it's a compliment. <laughs> um, you know, it makes us want to work harder and not let them beat us. I definitely think the whole team feels that way too and like wanting to work harder for that reason. One of the things they work on is basic fundamental basketball. And we need to like focus on doing what's right rather than doing what's fancy or doing something that you think is cool but will end up costing you the game like doing everything right and don't cheat yourself out. Don't cheat your teammates out. Teams learn the most from their losses but with Crandon not losing this year they have to learn a different way. Obviously winning is like what we want as the result of every game but if we don't win and we lose like it's definitely like a learning thing like we, we can always become better and while Crandon has had a great start to their season so far they know they can still be better and the learning experiences are like something that we take pride in like we want to fix those mistakes. We want to become a better team. We're very good right now but we want to be better like we don't want to settle. We never settle. Schwamigan star basketball player Isaiah Dietz has announced his commitment to play basketball for Concordia St. Paul via his Twitter account yesterday. Dietz has been great for the Screaming Eagles all season long, leading his team in points, rebounds, and assists. His first game on the hard one since making his commitment will be this Friday at home against Abbotsford. Congrats, Isaiah, and good luck this season. The Milwaukee Bucks were able to take down the New York Knicks on Monday at Madison Square Garden to keep them above the Philadelphia 76ers in the Eastern Conference standings. They took on a team tonight that definitely needed a win in the Atlanta Hawks in Atlanta. Let's see if the Bucks could do it. And there's a beautiful shot of the State Farm Arena where the two teams squared off. Here in the first quarter, Bucks starting off on a big run with huge plays like this. Pat Connaughton three to make it 8 nothing. Now it's 13-2 to two and Giannis is driving in hard and gets the tough bucket to make it 15-2 now. 
Near the end of the first quarter, Brooke Lopez fakes the give and go to Bochamp and drains this three from way downtown. Let's move on to the second quarter. Pat Connaughton dishes it out to Bobby Portis, and he nails this three, and the Bucks are going to go on to win it 114 to 105. We'll be right back after the break. The unknown is not empty. It's a storm that crashes and consumes, replacing thought with worry. But one thing can calm uncertainty. An answer. Uncovered through exploration, teamwork, and innovation. An answer that leads to even more answers. Mayo Clinic. You know where to go. Hepatitis C? Don't just treat it. Crush it with Maverick. Conquer it with Maverick. Cure it with Maverick. Maverick cures all types of hep C. In only eight weeks. The virus multiplies daily and can damage the liver over time. Maverick stops hep C and cures it. If you've had hepatitis B, it may flare up and cause serious liver problems during and after treatment. Tell your doctor if you've had hep B, a liver or kidney transplant, other liver problems, HIV, other medical conditions, and all your medicines. Do not take Maverick with Atazanavir or Rifampin. Report right away yellow skin, stomach pain or swelling, confusion and bleeding or bruising. Hep C, crush it with Maverick. Conquer it. Cure it in only eight weeks. See hep C gone with Maverick. Ask your doctor about Maverick. Abby could help you save. Did you know Master Force has thousands of tools at Menards? Any tool you want, we have. There are hammers, drills, pliers, levels, wrenches, grinders, sanders, compressors, nailers, workbenches, blowers, chainsaws, floor jacks, knee pads, work lights, fans. And that's just a taste. Come check out the wide range of products from Master Force exclusively at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Music every weekend, never a cover, and drinks priced right. TV pool, darts, and more. It's Happy's Pub in downtown Woodruff. When you rent a Culligan water softener, there is no down payment or maintenance costs. Imagine all you could do with the savings. <laughs> Dive into better water. Contact your local Culligan water dealer. Would you look at that? It's beautiful. Wow. That's our boy. So bright. Right now, get a sausage McMuffin or sausage biscuit paired with hash browns for just two fifty. dollars New News Now with Kevin Kraft and Jeff Weller. Weekdays on News Watch 12. The Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources is receiving grant funding to enhance wetland ecosystems. The U.S. Department of Agriculture awarded $4.7 million in grant funding to six states for the Wetland Mitigation Banking Program. Wisconsin is receiving $812,000 for wetland preservation. Wetland Mitigation Banking is the restoration or enhancement of wetlands. The grants were first awarded in 2016 and 31 wetland bank sites have been established totaling more than 1,500 acres. Millions of people across Wisconsin will see higher electric bills this year. Customers of We Energies will pay nearly $13 more per month on electric bills, an increase of 11.4%. WPS customers will pay $9.26 more on their monthly electric bills. That's up 9.4%. Similarly, customers of Madison Gas and Electric, XL Energy, and Alliant Energy will also see higher monthly electric bills. Wisconsin customers have been paying higher electric rates than the national average for a long time. According to Wisconsin's most recent energy assessment, residential customers have been paying higher rates for electricity than the Midwest and national average for nearly two decades. The Wisconsin DOT will be holding a meeting soon about improving Highway 8 just outside of Rhinelander. The meeting will take place at Rhinelander City Hall from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. next Wednesday and will be open to members of the public. According to the Wisconsin DOT, the purpose of the proposed project is to address the deterioration deteriorated pavement on Highway 8 and develop plans for roadway pavement replacement. The current project is planned to be separated into two phases. The proposed project from County G to County P along Highway 8 is expected to begin in 2024 and the proposed project from Highway 47 to County G is scheduled to begin in 2026. We'll be back with one final check of the forecast.
get an Escape, Edge, or Explorer SUV with 0% APR financing for 36 months, only at your Wisconsin and UP4 dealers. Farming today doesn't always feel the same way it used to. Then again, some of it feels all the same. Maybe it isn't so much the jobs that changed, but how they get done. Now that's a different story. Efficiencies are critical, which is why you need a lender who will find the right loan structure for a strong financial future. You need a lender to look out for your whole farm operation. Ag Country. When searching for your next truck, you want your truck to last. Get the job done right with a Lens truck. We have them all. Half-ton trucks, Power Strokes, Cummins, Duramax, SUVs, over 800 to choose from. Know that all Lens trucks are fully inspected, certified clean, and can be bought hassle-free online. Go now to LensTruck.com. Lens Truck, Lens Truck, we got the trucks at Lens Truck. We got the trucks. As a nurse, your capacity to give is superhuman, until it's not. These days, nearly every nurse is exhausted. You deserve an employer who shares your passion for keeping people healthy, including you. Join Peter Christensen Health Center today. Work fewer hours, enjoy regular schedules, rebalance your life with your passion. Your loved ones will thank you. Your new healthcare team will appreciate you. And your new patients will be grateful for you. Quit the chaos. Be your best self. Join us today. This week on Wheel, everyone loves a shopping spree. Pick that up. Hey, I'll take you on a shopping spree next. Yeah, I'll thank you. With, <laughs> can I use your credit card? Of course. Okay, sounds good. Plus, I actually taught myself how to after I saw Vanna does it as well. And S. No. C. No. Rachel. D. No. I'm sorry. Can you name this tune? I'll be at the bar. <laughs> Weeknights at 6.30 on NBC12. So when I was a kid in Appleton, we would go up to our cabin in Arbor Vita quite mm -hmm. often. And we would drive through Wausau. Okay. And my brothers and my sister and I would kind of make a little joke every time. And I want you guys to know if you know this joke. Let's roll the clip, Derek. What's that? <laughs> Yo, who's that? Yo, you pick up the phone. Hello? What's that? Okay, so if I can butt in here, that is the premise of the clip. So we would go through Wausau, we would go, Waza. And I'm curious, you know, I have older siblings. Do you mm -hmm. guys know about that? Of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's more pervasive than I thought. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, that's all I got, Conrad, so we're just going to toss it straight well, what's, to you. What's the weather? What's the weather? <laughs> Yeah, but taking a look outside right now, the weather is pretty calm right now, but things are starting to refreeze, so be careful out there, folks. It is going to get slick by the morning hours. Visibilities are also a little bit on the lower end, so we will have some fog overnight. Our seven-day outlook does show those warmer temperatures sticking around, and another low-pressure system moving in Sunday night, Monday, Tuesday, and into Wednesday, so get ready for that. Drive safely, Saul, okay? Right, you careful. And give yourself plenty of time in the morning. That's all the time we have. We'll see you back here tomorrow. The Diocese of La Crosse televised Mass Sundays at 6.30 a.m. on this station. Please join Bishop Callahan and the priests and faithful of the Diocese Sunday mornings at 6.30 a.m. Your personal information gets exposed so often might as well be hanging in a museum. Everyday activities like online shopping, banking, and even data breaches may expose your information and make it dangerously easy to have your identity stolen. No wonder there's a new victim every three seconds. Someone stole my information and tried to buy a car in my name. Felt really devastating, frightened, because I had no control. And the ways identity thieves can steal and use your information are constantly evolving. Someone used my information to open up bank accounts in my name. It was terrifying, not knowing what was out there and what had been opened. Watching your accounts or monitoring your credit may not be enough, but protecting your identity can be easy with LifeLock, a leader in identity theft protection. LifeLock monitors threats to your identity, and if an issue is detected, it sends you an alert. It was a big yes or a big no button. I clicked that's not me, and LifeLock took it from there. 
If you are a victim of identity theft, a dedicated U.S.-based restoration specialist will work to fix it. If something happens, you have somebody fighting for you. I don't know what I would have done without my restoration specialist. And you'll be covered by the LifeLock Million Dollar Protection Package, including reimbursement for stolen funds, personal expenses, and coverage for lawyers and experts if needed. With the Million Dollar Protection Package, I know LifeLock has me covered. It can be dangerously easy to steal your identity, but now it's easy to help protect yourself. I realize identity theft can happen to anybody, so that's why I signed up for LifeLock. Join the millions of people already protected by LifeLock, and for a 